नमस्ते सो ड्यूरिंग दिस फेज द पैंडमिक फेज लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस पीपल आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज इन द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन बट देर इज दे इज अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट बट दे इज अ लार्जर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो अबाउट हाउ टू गेट चिल्ड्रेन इंटरेस्टेड इन देयर स्टडीज इन देयर एजुकेशन दिस अ क्वेश्चन विच पीपल आर रेजिंग pandemic is a special situation and if you look at it from the deeper perspective life must flow to lock it and damn it inside a room in the name of safety is actually harming life it becomes like a pond you don't grow you need life experiences to grow so there are some crucial ages when children must go and engage with life they must make their own share of mistakes if you want to call it mistakes and through all that they learn and grow to damn it inside talk about all through the internet nothing wrong with internet but under whatever pretext that's not the way education must follow but yet if one has to do it then the best way is not like transposing classroom on to the digital platform it's a different platform which brings different possibilities so what do you do when you have this kind of a education digital education if you have to pick up the same book and tell the same lesson the way you would do in the classroom then actually uh, you are not using the possibility to its fullest digital studies because digital world is a vast world so it's best done through projects where you pick up any subject more than the subject you take up some origins one of the things which is missing in today's children is original thinking so everything is kitab and what is called as ratta what is ratta ratta is rote memory strange word is very similar ha huh? rote memory little bit understanding is used children should actually ideal is where children pick up a subject which they want to learn give them time to reflect stand and stare since time is there and let them pick up they may say that we want to understand about geography or what aspect of geography i want to understand space no no space is only in 11th class no let them explore space but how to explore space then take space from the outer material space to inner spaces till they understand about space and then connect everything else from the point of view of space that is how vedantic education was where from every angle you entered into the consciousness of the one which manifest in everything in every geography there is a history have you seen all civilizations prospering around river ganga saraswati nile godavari krishna so in every geography mountain tribes are different there is a psychology wars plains mountains passes everywhere you will see that there is interconnectedness the moment you bring in war there is science there is art politics education everything is interconnected this way of teaching education in disjointed manner those days are gone now what you will read bachcho history open your history books this is not the way education should be education should be an education connected with life pick up a subject bring everything into it in life you pick up any incidents of life you see you have mathematics you have science you have art take any incidents that a child started from home had a breakfast in hurry you can ask aaj kya hua tumhare ghar mein are i was in a hurry i had this breakfast and then you know i forgot this thing fell down a little got up mummy just this incidents now try to understand this incident you will bring everything into it you can bring in it consciousness that the most important thing of education is to awaken consciousness and one of the best example and children will engage in it it's our limitation children are actually moving faster than our system so they are not interested because actually in their heart they feel what is the teacher blabbering and i'll give you one example which i have used several times but i just love this example ask a child what did you child what did you have today idli okay so how is idli made 
देन यू विल सी फाइव सिक्स बिकॉज दे कनेक्टेड विद लाइफ नो चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी इंटरेस्टेड ओ इडली ऐसे बनता है मेरा मम्मी ऐसे बनाती है स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर फ्रॉम नियर टू द फार डोंट सडनली ब्रिंक इट टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट बैटल ऑफ पलासी चाइल्ड इज नो क्लू वॉट बिन इन पलासी सर ही विल रीड इट बट लुक एट द डिसकनेक्टेडनेस Today we'll read about when was Battle of Palasi fought, 1867. All of us have remembered. Maybe I am wrong. I have I, now I don't remember. I, randomly I am saying this, but look at the absurdity of the whole thing. So, start with idli. Idli कैसे बना? Idli rice से बना अच्छा. Rice कहाँ से आया? Market से आया. Okay. So what is the rate of the rice? Now you see, I went at commerce. Now you have entered a world of commerce. Okay, market. Little bit they understand about market now. Okay, how did it come into the market deeper? Oh, from the fields. Now suddenly you see other group of the fields, paddy fields. They you know because they are more interested. Now they are getting engaged. Paddy fields because this something they they are, they know it's not like marks and all this. So okay, paddy fields. Me, what happens now? they are learning about life that there are seasons there is you are he is learning psychology that you know you have to prepare the soil you have to sow it you don't have to teach a word about spirituality but you are teaching spirituality you are teaching that there is a time for everything there is a time to till the soil don't we you i mean shivindo use the word arya that who is an arya he is a farmer how because he tills his soil because seed of the divine consciousness are buried there so how is the seed tilled and you can take it from that tangent again further how do you till the soil with this okay stick it like this is also little bit matter how do you till this soil with exercise with imprint so through farming you can explain the entire spiritual thing through farming when a bead the seed is small now normally what do we tell the child don't do this why why because i am authority the days of authority are over mother said tell the ego your days are over if you tell a child on authority child will not accept he wants a reason now you speak reason you say no no you know this is bad this is good child doesn't have that concept start from an image near to the far so what is that image paddy field image is a good image now when the paddy is growing what do you do you have to protect it protect it from whom animals may come and eat birds will eat it so what do you do you put a scarecrow what is the scarecrow doing it is actually helping the paddy to arrive at its fullness or you put a fence or you watch over it now this is something which will get imprinted into the child oh if i have to develop my paddy to the utmost see this is how these books like vini the poo all these are written in that way you no know? Zen and the art of motorcycle riding. Through everything you can teach. Okay, you came in motorcycle. Tell me about motorcycle. You can teach a whole understanding of things based on just riding a cycle. Do we take a class on cycle riding? No, we don't take. It's a different subject. That's not how it is. So paddy. Then okay, that's up. So many things you can enter into this. Okay. everything that goes into the uh, coming up of rice from the so what all has gone into it so the farmer has gone the soil is there you have to enrich the soil is there something else okay water then air it needs space to grow yes space what else sunlight warmth what are you teaching them five elements which form the whole creation from there you can teach them about diseases how supposing sunlight is too intense what will happen it will burn away supposing it is too mild it will not grow if there is too much water the paddy will be drowned if there is too less water it will not grow what are you teaching the tri dhatu the imbalance which leads to illnesses but supposing you teach the same thing today we will talk about ayurvedic concept of illness First of all, remember there are five element. There are three dhatus. Ab bacha bol rahi dhatu kya hai? So he is not interested. So we have to make the subject interested, interesting, and we make the subject interesting by 
making it living and real to the child's consciousness. And Shobindo gave this wonderful clue from the near to the far. What they already know to that which you want to take them, you have to take them step by step. That's why moral education, the way it is taught moral science is the most absurd way. You suddenly, today, now we'll read moral science, make a column, this is good, this is bad. In real life, it is not good and bad. Everything is mixed. Ask any adult, is it as simple as that? That this is good and can you put life in that column? Life denies that. It brings good out of evil. Life. And it turns sometimes what you think is good, a virtue, into a defeat and a bondage. That's Mahabharata, no? The virtue of Karna, the virtue of Bhishma, was a bondage and a jail. So, real life education should be connected with life from near to far. Another thing very beautifully Sri has said, and that is, nothing can be taught. Meaning thereby what? One is, the teacher comes, does the talking or points to a book where child reads from the book. That day is gone. Neither of them is education. What is education? Question-answer format like the Vedic period through which a child brings out from within himself new ideas, new creative ideas. What are the causes for which battle of Palasi was fought? Now, I don't know why I'm stuck now today with battle of Palasi, whatever it be, <laughs> any other battle. So outwardly you will say, you know, because of this reason, that Lord Clive and this, that 17 something, eh? sorry, not 1867, 1767 or something. So now why? 57, 17, 1757. Yes. So I'm pretty close, huh? Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Google Baba. So the thing is that... Uh, you will see all the, you read the books, you will see all the forces which are described because of this East India Company. Now, what they are not mentioning is the real reason. And if you catch that reason, then you will forever understand all wars. What is the root reason? It is greed. Go to the root reason. Ambition. The will to dominate and control. Nobody will talk about these reasons. Now, when you understand these deeper reasons, then you will understand why wars always take place. Yet, they are turned into schools of courage. That's nature's way. Then you will understand war has nothing to do with just firing with a bullet. War is also at an economic level. Sri speaks about this in, you know, ideal of human unity. That wars will be economic warfares now. Which country controls the money and there are ways. Already they started. People are controlling money in a way. Now, okay, I don't want to get into that. But it is from that bring it out from a child's consciousness. Of course, depending on the age. Then with children, what works best is stories. Because they live in that world which is more real to them. Than the world we inhabit. What happens with between adults and children is they are two different worlds. Adults are all crystallized, fossilized people. Sorry. <laughs> crystallized. Life for them has now fixed meanings. But children are not like that. Plastic, like sponge, they are absorbing everything. Child is not only seeing the words you are speaking. The child is also seeing the dress you are wearing. The child is also experiencing your smile on the face. Ask them later on, Kaun sa teacher achha lagta hai? Ye wala teacher. Kyo? Sir, bade... You know, pleasant, he is so smiling. What are you teaching? This is also a learning, no? To learn to smile. One single test which can tell you that you are healthy or not. So, there are many aspects and most important is the change of exchange of consciousness which is taking place between the student and the teacher. That's why it is said so beautifully in one of the Upanishads. Somebody may remember the sloka. I saw a very marvelous, strange sight before me. What was it? The sight was Guru Yuva Shishya Vridda. The Guru is young. Generally, you will watch how conditioning mind works. You see the TV, whenever they show gurus, they'll also big beard, little bit white hair. Why? 
has knowledge got something to do with greying of hairs gurur yuva shishya vridha of course it means many things it means guru has a consciousness of a yuva what is the yuva consciousness always moving forward what is the consciousness of the old stuck in a knowledge system box that is old old persons by definition are those who don't progress further because they have this fixed idea that i know and what they know is a fixed idea <laughs> who is a young person at 90 he says i want to know more there must be many other ways of understanding so guru yuva shishya vridha now you see the meaning changes you can go to any level more levels of meaning even in this and then neither is speaking but knowledge is being transmitted what is that knowledge through consciousness now when we thus engage with children are very sensitive to consciousness because they are sponges they absorb everything from around they don't uh, they don't care much how you know you are uh, presenting they will just i still remember teachers who were so nice you know when it's so pleasant in their company you felt very good and they were teachers uh, jisko you know hindi mein bolte hain khadus you know you may be very good and everything but you know you don't really so you are absorbing something which is negative or harmful also so teacher should be one who is able to inspire a child that inspiring teachers are missing completely why because to inspire a child you have to be inspired <laughs> if you are not inspired for you teaching is a job you are getting paid see how the system or you are part of a system you may not be paid but you may be part of a system so you are conforming to a system it's not your joy or your passion as they say you are no more enthusiastic about it so you are doing a job okay and a good job because you want to be honest and nice but there is a world of difference between being honest and nice and being really inspired every field teaching whether it be medicine now books make us stuck into fixed formats always to think out of the book like out of the box and that's something which you should inspire children to and third principally says he says that they are living beings conscious beings this idea that you can mold them by hammering them into fixed formats that's why there was that famous song was it paul mccartney we want no education somebody should be able to tell me we want no education and they show that all you know children are going this site is i'm so happy in ashram school you don't have a uniform you know except for playground otherwise you see all of them wearing the same dress it they i know it's there is a logic behind it this is a kind of socialism misguided socialism but anyways all are wearing the same dress and then when they go pink floyd pink ah pink floyd so uh, yeah not beatles paul mccartney was break away from beatles so they he they all enter a machine and they the end they come out like a finished product all we tie and all that's not what is education to make them this to make them that this whole principle is rotten to make them succeed in life in terms of career and money to me are who are we to make them this or that this is like a product we are treating a child like a product so parents come and give the child to the teacher say finished product we want that we'll give you money you give us the product <laughs> now <laughs> teacher is trying to hammer what is the product they want good earning money he has to go to us settle down get a good job so now he is training towards creating a product we are not the makers of children very beautifully khalil gibran says that they are like times arrow your children are not your children whose children are they they are god's children what god has built in them each child is unique that's why this mass education 35 children you can't each child where are teachers i mean it is amazing or uh, to an extent shameful that they don't understand that children are different they are not same and how it reflects you will see that in a typical classroom digital also same thing digital it has become worse why in some ways why because you give a homework because you have not changed yourself so who does the homework by the way the old time pattern parents do the homework and when parents do the homework 
what does the teacher say are yours is very good but a child who has genuinely said i don't want parents to do i will do it myself what does the child get ah okay you should improve look at the falsehood right at the base the only child who deserved a reward <laughs> because he or she took the challenge of life and said okay i'll do it myself doesn't matter gets lower grade and another child whom parents have assisted that child is you know teachers don't understand this and some child even if you take it that all children are doing it now a child may not be interested in this but may be interested in something else to bring out that uniqueness of a child this is what is called in the gita as swadharma and swabhav this was what she wanted here when mother was asked what is free progress system you know what is the definition of free progress you will see everybody explaining to you it means you know when child child children come they have a freedom to choose what subjects and what grades what is the definition of free progress progress guided by one's own soul in hindi the word for it is swa dharma every child is not meant to do everything so while you must have a total understanding of everything but each child has its own swa dharma some are born leaders some are born you know they are interested in knowing there are some who are excellent at having rapports and you know um, the inner comers of life they understand very well there are others who are excellent with their hands others with their music craft teach that's what is required education is not like everybody does the same thing everybody gets a degree and at the end you see how many percentage that's not what so the very basis money and success as goals of life the very basis is false So education should be in a florescence, a blossoming of the divine impulsion within us, and everybody has the beautiful part is everybody has a place to occupy in the universal concert. Put him there, he will be wonderful. Don't put him there. Put him elsewhere, he will be the most uncomfortable person, even if you crown him. You know, I often give this example in democracy. So democracy is. LCM, lowest common multiple. Like there is another which is HCF, highest common factor is in olden times the elite or a group decided who will be the king. Now it is LCM, the number matters. So what happens? Imagine in the game of numbers, you have a monkey who sits on the throne in a jungle where kings are dominant. So <laughs> what does he do? He is a king, but there will be rebellion all around. No lion is going to accept him, but he has to listen because it's democracy. See the paradox of the whole situation. He will not accept because it's a place of lions. And I am giving an example. And second example, which is total falsity, is you see that story is so fable. कछुआ वाली सब ने सुनी है ना हॉल टॉटॉइज एंड हेयर हैव अ रेस एंड द ओनली रेस वेर ए टॉटॉइज वन नेवर इन लाइफ यू विल प्लीज डोंट टेक इट दैट स्लो एंड स्टडी विन्स द रेस स्लो एंड स्टडी विल नॉट विन द रेस इन ऑल लाइवलीहुड ही विल ऑप्ट आउट ऑफ दैट रेस इफ इज इंटेलिजेंट ही विल से आई एम मेंट फॉर समथिंग एल्स आई डोंट गेट इन टू दिस रैट रेस बिकॉज एट द एंड आई एल बी द रैट द इंटेलिजेंट पीपल हु आर स्लो एंड स्टडी विल फाइन देयर वे and the foolish who are fast like the rabbit will win the race but lose themselves they'll just multiply so what is re in real life if a uh, turtle tortoise is challenged by a rabbit an intelligent tortoise will say acha we'll have three rounds what are the three rounds first round we'll have on the land okay good second we'll have in the river river Yeah. Third is, we'll see how long each one can live in the river and the land both. That's a tortoise speciality. So each one of us has something unique. So we have to bring that out in children. So near to the far, then this whole thing, you have to bring out, educe, make them engage by making it real and living. Education is no more real and living. It has become completely mechanical, artificial. Book education is like that. So the problem will be: what will children do when they grow up? This is one a big fallacy. It's a 
complete ignorant fear mother answered it so many so much pressure was there that you know give a degree and all in ashram school they don't have a degree how she resisted because she knew ki the moment you bring in you will bring in the government grants you will have to ultimately end up with conforming but look at it that she said no let them blossom they will find their path you know we don't trust in the divine we don't trust in nature even for often i and people are anxiety burdened kal kya hoga kya hoga kya hoga one of the shock treatments i have couple of times used with people taking them out of the room and said look look here what sir what to look see this tree and everything little garden in bangalore command hospital where i was working ha huh, sir do you know how many creatures are here sir he doesn't know how is it connected with my depression <laughs> my worry ha uh, sir bahut sare honge kya kya hai squirrel bhi hogi butterfly bhi hogi chidiya hogi ped paada sab living hai so are they also worried how to take care of themselves now there is a flash that billions of creatures in this creation are taken care of how they are led by something called as instinct in man what is there no instinct he thinks therefore i have to act by reason yes act by reason but there is something equivalent to instinct which must be born in children and that is called intuition till intuition is born faith give them faith so we have this hierarchy instinct in animals human beings have lost that instinct so we try to supplement it with the reason reason is only a stop gap manager beyond reason is intuition intuitively they will feel this is what i am meant to do nowadays children are having this and they take into that field they intuitively feel from within but till you have intuition faith what is faith faith in your destiny why will you be singled out by nature and god and everybody that you are the one on whom avalanche of troubles will fall have faith in yourself have faith in destiny have faith in god to awaken this faith in children and most importantly the urge for progress books you know when we say books you have read these books you have read all the books in the world you have read the libraries you have got very good marks now you are your education has ended rather we should say now your education begins now you explore this world come up with new things new ideas look at life afresh forget all this look at life afresh i often tell uh, i mean then when i had students in my uh, as md student i would tell them that you know try to understand the same patient you have read it in the book phenomenology all this you now you look at very very impartially and you will learn new things about a patient try to make your own observations and it's something beautiful so after you have read all this and degree now life and education begins and this education will continue throughout life so mother says the biggest gift you can give to a child is to love to learn to love to progress the moment you put a finish goal it doesn't matter what uh, system you use you may say knowledge third year you are you know you have finished you have finished it there is nothing which finishes it is endless till the last days one is learning so this love to learn to endless thirst for progress pursuit of perfection these are the gifts a child should receive at the end of his what is called as conventional education and if we can give them this and last but most important the conviction of truth's final victory through stories through many examples and if we can give this to a child in an atmosphere which is beautiful classroom should be beautiful preferably open spaces not cramped up little spaces beautiful spaces where children feel in vastness and if you, we can give that to the child then we would have done a or rather god would have done a marvelous job because the instruments responded to that flow otherwise life goes on carries on people get degrees they get marks they earn they live they make big houses buy big cars and then they die leaving the world no better no richer 
but perhaps poorer because of their success namaste